Saudi Arabia and Iran are bitter rivals clashing politically and ideologically for decades. In September 2016, Iran's Ayatollah blamed Saudi authorities for the deaths of hundreds of Muslims during a stampede at the previous year's Hajj pilgrimage. In his response, Saudi Arabia's Grand Mufti said he was not surprised by the accusation as it came from the descendants of Zoroastrians, who are not Muslim. Iran was indeed originally made up of followers of Zoroastrianism, and we wanted to know what exactly is this unique religion. Well, Zoroastrianism is one of the world's oldest monotheistic religions, predating Christianity, Islam, and even Judaism. It was founded by the prophet Zoroaster roughly 3,500 years ago in what is today Iran. Zoroastrianism was the official religion of pre-Islamic Iranian empires from roughly 650 to 600 BC and was at one point one of the most dominant faiths in the world. However, today it's rare to find. Most recent estimates place the number of followers at about 200,000, with most living in India and Iran. Zoroastrians believe in one god called Ahura Mazda, or Wise Lord. They believe that he created the world and designed it to exist and evolve in a way that is perfect and righteous. This so-called Law of Asha is what Zoroastrians see as the ideal way that life should be, and every day they affirm this goal in their most basic prayer called Ashamvohu. As one of the early pioneers of dualism, Zoroastrians believe that everything in the world exists within moral opposites, such as good and evil or heaven and hell. They believe in free will and that good thoughts, good words, and good deeds will repel evil forces and thus bring them closer to the perfect divine life. After death, humans purportedly confront these choices before a heavenly tribunal, who then deliver them to Zoroastrianism's own version of heaven or hell, translated as the excellent abode and the worst existence, respectively. It's no coincidence that these ideas are also pillars of succeeding monotheistic faiths. Islam, Christianity, and Judaism are all said to be influenced by Zoroastrian beliefs of a single deity, a dualistic universe, and a final judgment day. That said, Zoroastrians are unique in a number of ways. For instance, they're known for their fascination with fire, which they see as a symbol of the divine because of its warmth and light. The religion also emphasizes individual rather than group worship, so most adherents choose to pray at home rather than at a place of worship like a church or temple. When they do gather, it's usually for holidays or coming-of-age ceremonies, which some compare to a Jewish bar and bat mitzvah. And although Zoroastrianism promotes good behavior, unlike other religions, it doesn't prescribe a moral code of conduct or a long list of rules. Over the last few centuries, the number of Zoroastrians has dropped dramatically as a result of oppression, forced conversions, and migration. India, which is home to the majority of followers, sees roughly 10% fewer Zoroastrians every decade, according to a report by UNESCO. What's more, the religion has been struggling to adapt to modern times without losing its unique cultural identity. If the religion continues to decline at its current rate, Zoroastrianism may soon be something we only read about in history books. Zoroastrianism's emphasis on positivity and nonviolence is hardly unique. Many faiths promote peace, and yet countless people around the world continue to be marginalized, jailed, or even killed in the name of religion. So what are the most peaceful religions? Learn more in this video. Hinduism has long been identified as nonviolent, largely due to the influence of the pacifist Mahatma Gandhi. However, even within the religion, violence may be used to protect oneself or one's country. One Hindu god states that violence is necessary in the defense of justice and does not conflict with a spiritual life. And even Gandhi himself was killed by a fellow Hindu. Thanks for watching Seeker Daily. Don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos every day.